Hello! Today we're going to read a story called Flash, Crash, Rumble, and Roll. Hmm. There's a girl and a boy running away from the dentist room. And black clouds over here chasing after them. And there's a duck. Hmm, I wonder what story it is in that. Now, let's go in the story. Flash, Crash, Rumble, and Roll by Franklin and Burnley. Illustrated by True Kelly. The day is quiet. The air is dull and hot. Leaves do not move. Flowers droop. Even the birds are still and quiet. There are big white clouds in the sky. They grew bigger and taller, and they got darker and darker. Look at those black thunder clouds! People say we are going to have a thunderstorm. Warm air near the earth is rising into the clouds. The air goes up fast. Inside the clouds, it keeps moving upward. It may go all the way to the top and spill over. The clouds keep growing. After a while, the clouds may be ten miles high. The rising air carries water, but it's not liquid. It is gas called water vapor. That when the water vapor cools, it becomes liquid water. That's what happens in the cloud to make them grow. Water vapor cools and changes into small drops of water and also into small crystals of ice. But inside the cloud carries the water and ice up and up. The air gets colder. When it gets very cold, the air falls. So the air inside some parts of the cloud is moving up very fast, and in one other parts, it is moving down. Plane stay out of the dark thunder clouds. The rushing air could turn a plane upside down. It could even rip off the wings. Also, there's a lush city. In the clouds, even water droplet, an ice crystal carries a tiny bit of electricity. There are billions and billions of droplets and crystals, so the amount of electricity gets greater and greater. When the amount is very great, the electricity jumps from the top of the cloud to the very bottom. It makes a giant spark, a flash of lightning. While the rain starts, first only a drop or two. When the wind blows and the rain falls faster and harder, water races down the street. There's more lightning. It may go from one cloud to another, or it may reach the high building or a tree. The streak of lightning may by a while long or even long. Thunder comes after the lightning. The lightning is very hot. It hits the air. The hot air expands very fast. It makes sound wave all along the streak of lightning. The sound waves reach you at different times. When the first one reaches you, they may be a loud crash. As more and more sound waves reach you, the thunder rumbles and rolls. You make sound waves when you break a balloon. Blow one up and pop it. The air in the balloon expands rapidly through the break in the skin. You make a tiny bit of thunder. Pop. There's only a little air in balloons, so there's not much noise. Lightning moves lots more air, billions of times more, so there is lots of sound. Sound waves travel slowly, much more slowly than the light from lightning. Light travels so fast it can go to the moon in less than two seconds. It would take two weeks for sound to go that far, because the light goes so fast. You see lightning the moment it flashes, but it may take several seconds for the thunder to reach you. It takes five seconds for the sound to travel one mile. The next time you see lightning, try this: count the seconds until you hear the thunder. If five seconds go by, the storm is one mile away. If ten seconds pass, the storm is two miles away. It only If only a second passes, the storm is very close. If you see a flash and you don't hear thunder at all, the storm may be miles or more away. The thunder will be very loud. It may be scary, but thunder won't hurt you. Lightning is different. 
Lightning may start fires in houses or burns. It may, it may start forest fires. Lightning may knock over trees and telephone poles. It may kill cows and horses in a field. It was injured people or killed them. You won't be hurt by lightning if you know what to do. If you are swimming, get out of the water. If you are outside, go inside. If you are inside when a store closes, stay away from the telephone and the TV. Their wires would carry the lightning into the house. Stay away from the stove and other big metal things. Yeah. Get away from the sinks, the bathtub, and the shower. Their pipes could also carry lightning into the house. If you are caught outdoors, keep the, away from the metal fins or metal pipes. They can could carry electricity. Don't sound under a tree that is alone in a field. Lightning usually strikes the high end things. It might strike the tree. So if you're in a big field, don't be the highest thing around. Crouch down with your knees on the ground and bend your head for a. If you are in a car, stay there. A car is safe because if lightning hits it, the electricity goes through the car and not through you. Watch the storm from a safe place before it begins. Watch the clouds. You see them get bigger and bigger, taller and taller, darker and darker. You'll see flashes of lightning. If the storm is far away, you'll hear thunder rumble and roll. If it's close by, thunder will crackle and crash. People used to think that lightning was the fiery fingers of an angry god. They thought the god made thunder when he scolded and roared. They feared storms at the fear they got. But there's no reason for us to fear storms. We know that what makes thunder and lightning, and we know how to keep safe.